Yeah. Just, what about their base? Yeah. Um, well, that's probably the the the, the component that took the, the most, most impact. Runt. Yeah, yeah. Um, because that's what they're designed to do. Well, a lot of people, you know, even with our product, they'll lift it and they'll say, wow, this is really, really light. Does that mean that it's unsafe? No, you don't understand the safety component of the restraint. Safety is built into the base. That's what's designed to handle the the um the physics the energy, of the energy yeah. push towards your baby is that base and how it performs. Because the base is heavy. Yeah. Your, your base is heavy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is. It's not light. And they're designed to be. Yeah. yeah. So that they're So that's interesting. I didn't realize that. I thought the introduction of a base, and maybe this has evolved, I thought the introduction of a base was just for convenience. Because remember back in the day, you didn't have bases. Right. You stuck the car seat in the seat, and you strapped you a seat belt over it, yeah. and you pulled it tight, and you called it good. Yeah, yeah. But the base is really a lot of the safety component now. Absolutely. Yeah, it's, what it, about, it is designed to perform in a collision situation more so than your, and you say, well, if someone, something actually, you know, penetrates the door, yes, the shell is is made and is designed with, with enough reinforcement around mm-hmm. uh, where your child is sitting so that it actually is not going to be compromised or break or anything like that. That's what goes into side crash impact. testing however um for the most part the performance in most common collisions and how that that what we call chest g's that's a score as well as hick or head injury criteria it's all pretty much built around the performance of that base and right. how it's actually ta- taking in the energy interesting so how about a scenario where i've seen a lot of car seats kind of are dual purpose they can do both Right, where they have a base, but they can also be strapped in with a seatbelt yeah, if you yeah, didn't have the yeah, base. Yeah. Is that obviously one scenario is much more preferred than the other? It is, right? yeah, yeah, because you're talking about what they call the Euro style, the European style install, which is um, very few cars in Europe um, are utilizing bases because you have big cities and a lot of taxi cabs, right? So they're not lugging a base around everywhere they go. Um, in the U.S. market, it's required. You have to have some component of being able to latch to the car, which is what's built into most bases, right, mm-hmm. um, once the latch system came into play. The European system was basically putting a shoulder belt behind the seat, lap belt across the lap of the where the child's sitting so that it's kind of affixed in multiple points in the event that a collision sort of it still point. performs. Yeah. It still performs well, but for the most part, um, the base and the engineering around that base is uh, what's most highly recommended. How how the car seat should be used uh, from 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 most vantage points, because you're not getting a lot of times in a city scenario. You're not getting up to high speeds, right? 